we are now on fractional distillation in the last lesson i explained about uh, simple distillation and how we separate some solutions including salt solution or sodium chloride solution the difference now with the fractional uh, distillation is the fractionating column and the use of the methods we use fractional distillation to separate a mixture of liquids the best example i can give is that of water and alcohol or water and ethanol these two substances or these two liquids uh, can mix together and form a single layer they are called they they are completely miscible with each other which means they can mix and form a single liquid layer the best way to separate ethanol and water is to take advantage of their different boiling points water boils at 100 degrees ethanol boils at 78 degrees so by maintaining our temperature at 78 degrees we can evaporate ethanol from the solution and then leave water in the flask let me draw the setup so these are the apparatus that will be used so here this is the fractionating column uh, here we have a thermometer to measure the temperature since we want to take advantage of the temperature we use thermometer and here it's a boiling solution after applying the heat here like before it's a condenser and then we have a collecting beaker so let me just label all the apparatus so that you don't forget so this one is called the fractionating column we can use glass beads there this is called the flask this water ethanol mixture we apply the heat here here we condense uh, the steam that vapored from the solution so what happens let me now explain water and ethanol mix to form a single liquid layer like i said before so i've written it down they are completely miscible they have different boiling points that is water boils at 100 and ethanol boils at 78. the purpose of the uh, fractionating column is to condense water before its boiling point what happens it traps water before 100 degrees and let ethanol proceed to the condenser eventually the water trickles back into the flask because it cannot pass through before it reaches 100 degrees and goes as gas so ethanol vapor is now condensed in the condenser where we pour cool water to lower the temperature and turn it back to liquid it is collected as liquid pure ethanol in the collecting jar or collecting beaker it's almost pure if the temperature starts to increase above 78 degrees uh, this means the temperature will be maintained at 78 degrees until ethanol completely evaporates from the solution if temperature starts to increase above 78 degrees it means ethanol is fully evaporated and we are now uh, evaporating water that's when to stop the experiment because we we'll also mix water and ethanol again so to avoid that we keep our temperature at 70 degrees if it starts to increase that's where we end the experiment because water will be now starting to evaporate and it means ethanol is fully evaporated from the solution at 70 degrees if it starts to increase temperature i hope i've uh, fully explained this one make sure you read your notes you attempt worksheets and submit your exercise this marks the end